<clears throat> so screen printing for photo screen printing basically works on this principle that we're going to create a light sensitive emulsion on the screen. So what happens with this is if this is my screen frame, right, and then here I have my screen stretched across, so, you know, kind of like this, looking at it from the side. What I have is I'm going to put light sensitive emulsion on here. So I'm going to put this uh, emulsion, coat this emulsion on here, and I'll show you how to scoop coat here in a little while. And uh, what that means is that if I just put that on and I let it dry in the dark room that's over there behind us, if I let that dry in the dark kind of room cabinet, um, if I brought that out right now and I just washed it with drops of water, right? I put some water on there. It's a terrible drop. Yeah. Um, what would happen is that water would go on there and it would dissolve that emulsion off of there because the thing that makes the emulsion waterproof is um, light. So what happens is when I hit this, this is my light bulb here, right? Don't make fun of my light bulb drawing. Okay. This is my light bulb and I hit this with light. What that does is it kind of molecularly changes the nature of the emulsion. And so it ends up hardening that emulsion up. And then if I hit it with water, the water would repel off of it and the water wouldn't get through the screen at all. It would just basically uh, leave it be. So what we want to do is we want to create, uh, we want to coat a screen with a photo emulsion. Then we're going to put a uh, transparency of some sort between our um, emulsion and the light bulb. So we're going to make really dark marks. If you can kind of see here, we're going to make a very opaque black uh, marks on a piece of transparent paper. Um, and then we're going to put the transparency down, the emulsion over the top of it. We're going to put our little pillow thing in there to compress it. We're going to have a piece of glass here that lets light through. And then we're going to hit it with light and the light is going to harden up all the emulsion all around every place that the light can get through to, but wherever there's these little black dots are going to stay soft. So those are going to be areas where if I hit those with water, they'll just dissolve and wash right off. So that ends up leaving me with a screen that has a bunch of hardened up areas that are waterproof and some soft areas that where water will dissolve them. Now I'm going to take that over there to the washout booth and wash it out. And what will happen is when I hit that with water, it's going to dissolve away the emulsion that's left and then I'm going to get these little puncture holes through that emulsion and that's where the ink will be squeegeed through. So by the time it's over with, I'll end up with a screen that looks a lot like this. You can kind of see that in this one we have um, this kind of um, sort of digital design that was made with Illustrator and so basically the lines are going to be very dark and thick. Um, and uh, But all of this was on a transparency that was very, very black. And so those areas are the areas that opened up and these areas are the areas that stayed blocked. So when I go to print this, it'll basically make a stencil to let the ink through and it'll squeegee through those little holes and pop off on my piece of paper on the other side. Handmade's uh, hand created screen printing is basically uh, blocking out a screens that you have a stencil in place. And so the thing to know about this is that this is my screen and I don't do anything to it and I put some ink up here and I get a squeegee and I, you know, squeegee through there, it's going to print a big flat uh, sort of slab of ink, the shape of the squeegee, right? It's just going to be a big open, this is a big open stencil at this point. Um, it's just a screen, pulls the ink, nothing happens. So what I need to do is I need to create some places where the screen is stopped out or blocked out. So one way that you can do that is to work um, additively where you just take your um, stop out. So in this case, it's some brown sort of stop out stuff that I'll show you guys when we do the demo for this. And if I want, I can just paint in areas that are gonna be blocked out. So I can paint in some spots here. And so if I went ahead and printed this with my squeegee now, I would end up with a, a couple of white shapes if this is a white piece of paper here and then everything else in here would be the color of ink. So let's say I printed it in red, it would all be red ink, right? So one way to do that is just to paint stop out in every place that you want to have things be uh, white or stay the color of the paper and you're good to go. The other way that you can do this is to take some stuff that we call drawing fluid, which is basically this blue water soluble material 
and you can just paint that on here. So any place that you wanted, let's say you wanted to make a really wonderful masterpiece of a, uh, of a smiley face, let's, because everybody likes smiley faces, right? You basically would just paint this blue stuff on there, nice and thick, with the uh, drawing fluid, and paint your smiley face on there. And this is water soluble, so if I go to wash this out with the, in the sink, Every, every place where water hits, this is basically going to just dissolve and go away. So if I didn't do anything with this, it wouldn't mean much of anything to me, right? But if I paint the blue stuff on, and then I coat the rest of the plate, or the, I'm sorry, the rest of the screen with stop out, I'm going to have like stop out everywhere all around this, right? It's going to cover the whole thing. Then when I go to wash it out, these blue areas are going to become open parts of my stencil, and it will open up and I'll end up with holes there were when I screen printed through, what I'm gonna get is I'm just gonna get a smiley face that looks exactly like the blue drawing flute that I drew on there in whatever color ink I choose to screen print through the open parts of my stencil. So, so that's it, additive and reductive uh, screen printing and relief. That's basically the way you can create these things by hand. You can block areas out with tape. You can cut a paper stencil out and uh, you know, take that on the back of this. You can do anything you want in order to block it out. Um, a good way to look at this is, let's say I took the brown, um, this, I drew my smiley face with the brown stop out, right? So I drew it on there with my brown stop out, um, and then I go to print it. What's that gonna look like? That's gonna look like a piece of paper with an all red background here, and then I'm gonna have a white, this is gonna be a white smiley face, right? If I do it the other way with the blue stop out and I print red, I'm gonna get a red smiley face and everything else is gonna be white in here, if that makes sense. So that's basically the way that it works when you do handmade screen printing. Very, very simple and basic. Just use your kind of uh, best judgment on it and uh, you know, use your creative problem solving skills and you'll get it all figured out. But I'll walk you through a series of demos now that'll show you how each and every one of these techniques kind of looks when you do it on the screen by itself. Thank <laughs> you.